Hello everybody. Today um I'm going to do an anatomy study and over the next few weeks or so I'm gonna try to reconstruct this whole left side. Um today I'm gonna to focus on this area. because uh, I remember when I first started modeling I was having a major issues have a lot of major issues trying to figure out what was going on in the scapula. So, this is what I'm going to tackle today, is the uh, scapula. Okay, um, the first muscle I'm going to put on here, the super spontaneous, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it, uh, and it goes over here and it connects right here and it goes right through here. Scapula is a very important area because there's a lot of stuff going on. <sighs> uh, here you go. So this is this guy. <sighs> What's going on here? The next muscle we're going to put on the scapula is the infraspontaneus. And it goes and it, and it fits here. It goes here. Oh. The next muscle we're going to put on here goes right here the infraspontaneus on the scapula. And here it goes here. This guy right here. So over the next uh, few weeks, I'm going to reconstruct this whole guy and share the information that I am learning or that I have learned to help me become a better ZBrush model, modeler for all you ZBrush guys. It's a very interesting area. Go and check out some, um, some of the um, bodybuilders and get an opportunity to look at what's going on back there. Good to know. Doesn't make your models you be able to sculpt with confidence. Yeah, so this guy is gonna go right here on this scapula. Uh, And most and all of them, all of them seem to connect right here. Now, this is my first video, so I'm clean this. I'm kind of nervous here. But, uh, you, you guys will get the point. So, here we go, right here. Boom. All this stuff is taking place on the scapula. Wow. The Terry's Minor that connects here also. They all, they all touch here. It's a very important area of the scapula. And you know, everything goes on. And with the muscles over it, these are uh, what are you going to see here? This is with the muscles over it. This is what you're going to see here. But the uh, teres, the teres may minor goes here. See, and it all connects to this guy, like what I'm doing here. They 
all connect here. But the major, the Terry the major, likes to do his own thing. Now this is everything that's taking place on the scapula. Yeah, this is like the, like the anchor of your upper body here. Now the Terry's major has its does its own thing. It's just a, that's why I guess it's a major. Does it, uh, it it does its own thing here. It does its own thing. That's why it's a major. So it's, uh, the Terry's major it connects here at the bottom of this guy. It goes under and still and it still makes a connection. Everything that takes place place on the scapula goes under, over. So the next time you guys are sculpting your ZBrush, after seeing this this clay sculpture, should make make life a lot easier and make your models look a lot more realistic. everything that takes place there and you have the muscles that cover that area and you have this area so I hope that helped you guys out a lot um, later on doing probably throughout later on the next over the next couple of months this is my next armature I'm gonna create and I'll be using the same process I did here cut creating every muscle, one muscle at a time. I'm going to start off with geometry, simple shapes like this and just put it there for the ribs and this for the pelvis and something like this for the head and I'm going to reconstruct every muscle just like I did this belt. I'm going to build a scapula and I'm going to do the same way I did this guy. So I'll, I'll be recording that one too. Um, this will be my second armature um, to uh, the secret to the secret skills um, yeah, I know you sent me an email a while ago it was midterms and um took me a while it took me a while to uh, get back to you but um, your, your work is very impressive I didn't see any too many flaws um, just uh, just try to get as many anatomy books as you can and you know just build you know and study a lot of uh, you know get yourself a, a reference library uh, of real people um, but as uh, far as what your work is, it's very impressive. Um, what I would recommend you do um, is uh, build yourself a, a skeleton, uh, a CG skeleton, um, Etcher Sketcher. Uh, he, uh, he did an interesting um, tutorial on how he built his skeleton. And just make yourself a skeleton. What it will help you do is help you keep your proportion and you have something to model upon until you really master your craft and be able to model without your without your proportion, without your ribs. So, you know, I would start off with a, a start make a rib cage and a and a pelvis and, and even a, a cranium, simple cranium. And I would do do like what I'm doing here, but you don't have to do each muscle like I'm doing, but you just sculpt it in there as a whole. So that's my recommendation for you and the same thing with your head with the head just get a skull and just build everything upon your skull so you can understand because everything is built upon the the, um, the, um, the skeleton so uh, but but everything's looking good man um, I'm looking at your uh, your pecs here your pecs are pretty solid uh, um, some people are born uh, one thing about the pecs is uh, some people born with six packs and some people born with eight. So just keep that in mind when, when you're making packs, you know. <laughs>